One of the biggest races of the night, the AP declared incumbent Governor Kevin Stitt the victor over lifelong Republican turned Democrat State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister. Here's a look at the latest results in the gubernatorial race. You can see that uh, with 98% of the precincts reporting, Governor Kevin Stitt with 56% to Joy Hoffmeister's 41%, the other two Libertarian and Independent candidates only drawing about 1% of the vote. Now, of course, we have team coverage for you from both Washington parties tonight. Two News Oklahoma anchors Sharon Phillips and our Naomi Kidd are live in Oklahoma City. We'll begin though at the Stitt Watch Party where the governor took the stage just moments ago. Now Sharon, what's the feeling in the room tonight? Karen, the feeling in the room is absolutely electric this evening. People are celebrating and right here with me now is Governor Kevin Stitt who just won a second term. Governor, thank you so much for joining us this evening. How are you feeling right now? Man, I'm just ecstatic. Ecstatic for Oklahoma. It's just uh, been such a hard, long race and the truth prevailed tonight and uh, we just had a great, great victory and Oklahomans uh, believe like we do in traditional family values, lower taxes, smaller government. I'm excited to the momentum that we've created in Oklahoma over the last four years. We're going to keep it going. And you said in your speech earlier that dark money lost tonight. Tell us what you meant by that. Well, there, everybody saw it. I mean, the ridiculousness, $50 million of lies and chaos was spent, unprecedented amount of money to spread lies. I mean, they were sending out flyers saying I was going to shut down rural schools. And it was just ridiculous. And everybody knew that I love education. We want to be, I want to be the education governor. We're going to protect our rural schools. We're going to protect our teachers and we're going to protect parents' rights. And so again, it's exciting. It was a huge victory tonight and uh, just so excited about the momentum we've created. And um, you, I know that education is your biggest focus. Is that the first thing you're going to be kicking off? Oh, absolutely. You know, I'm so proud of uh, Ryan Walters, the next superintendent of education. He's going to be amazing. But we're going to focus on education, infrastructure, health care, and also the economy. I mean, our economy is starting to really diversify and grow. Our commerce department's never had more, more looks right now. 40% of our wins have come to rural Oklahoma. So we want the best economy as well, and those four things I'm always going to focus on. And you said that Oklahoma has the third largest savings account in the nation, is that correct? That's right. Per capita, we're ranked number thir third in the country in savings with $3 billion. We've never had that kind of savings before in Oklahoma, and it's because of our fiscal discipline. Oklahoma's elected a businessman governor, and that's exactly how we're going to do. We're going to be fiscally responsible. I'm always thinking about the taxpayers. We've cut taxes once. We're going to cut them again next year. And it was a hard-fought campaign, sir. What would you like to say to Joy Hoffmeister tonight? Well, she called me and was very gracious and uh, just wish her the best. And uh, it was uh, it was a hard-fought campaign, and, uh, and we're excited to be here. Governor Stitt, thank you so much, and thank congratulations. You. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. All right, that was uh, Governor Kevin Stitt. We're going to go ahead and send it over to Naomi Kidd at Joy Hoffmeister's campaign. Naomi. Sharon, the mood here much different than at the GOP watch party tonight. You can see most of the crowd behind me has left. We do still see um, Joy Hoffmeister here talking with a few of her supporters. Just about 15 minutes ago, she gave her concession speech right here in front of this audience. We got some video when she actually walked into the room, and that's at a time when we heard a loud cheer go up. Her supporters saying that they were proud of her, even though this election didn't go the way that they wanted. She said, even though that that outcome was different, it was a hard fought election that's proven that Oklahomans with different politics can carve a path and work together. We told you she switched parties in 2021 to run against Governor Kevin Stitt. There's the loud cheer of that crowd you just heard. Tonight, she told us that she has a message for those that voted for her and for the people across the state. Oklahoma still belongs to you. This building behind me, in case you've had any doubt, it also belongs to you. Your state, your government does not belong to any one party or any one politician. 
And on the stage tonight, you could see she was surrounded by her family, her husband, her children, their spouses, even her parents. They came in to watch this election with her. We've learned that they were actually off site watching those election results roll in. So it was around 930 that we actually saw her come into the watch party and again give that speech to her supporters behind me. She did have one final message for voters, letting them know that their voices are both necessary and important. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, I'm Naomi Kitt, 2 News Oklahoma.